Hello, welcome to Sean and Stephanie's Adventures. Yep, thank you for joining us again. And on this episode, we're going to show you the best endo farm in the game. And it's not a bad platinum farm, too. And that is Arbitration Survivals. In order to unlock Arbitration missions, all you have to do is clear off every node in the normal map. So, it seems daunting at first, it did for us, and we put it off for some time, but we could really get it done in a couple days. Most missions take under four minutes. And these are just incredible. We can't go back. I've had arbitrations where I walk out with over 13k endo, some sculptures that are worth several more k endo, and several. That's a lot of endo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's 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 hard to farm endo normally. I think before arbitrations, the next best farm we got is the Deimos bounties, which have a chance of giving you a thousand. And th th that's not bad at all. Oh, where'd you go, my love? But this this right here is the arbitration day, day, room. Day, day, day. <laughs> yeah. So in order to make it more difficult, I think they start off the enemies at level sixty or so, and see those little drones on top, and they shoot little gold things to it. The enemies are invincible unless you kill those drones, and those drones are immune to powers. But when they do die too, they usually kill off everything connected to them. So that makes it a lot more difficult. I can't just you know spam four and, <laughs> and roast everything like I like to do sometimes. I like to get rid of that with my, um, my sword, my Reaper Prime, or with my gun. Oh, yeah. My, uh, my stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, they're, yeah, it's very easy to take them out with melee. We like to do that when things get tough. And we've upgraded our build since uh, we last did a video, too. I think I'm 17 now, Stephanie's now 13, just about 14. They were ranking up nice. Yeah, exactly. And we learned some tricks too that we'll just uh, share with you while we do this little gameplay of the best endo farm in the game. And that is... And this also applies to the Steel Path missions too. And that also becomes available when you unlock the whole star chart. And those missions... Oh, where's our team? Oh, they, or the enemies start at base rank 100 and get an additional buff. And it's hard to deal damage to them. And we figured out the ultimate bullshit. And that is putting bloodlust on our melee weapons and going for melee counter builds. And then we can just one-shot everything all the time. And <laughs> it's glorious. And we like to use the Reaper Prime. It just has excellent attack animations and pretty much perfect stats. That is the best sword you can ever have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear, I cannot recommend it enough. Oh yeah, she's in love with it. I actually had an extra set from when I last played, and she was mm. using just the Broken War, and the Broken War has very similar stats to the Reaper Prime, so I thought it was comparable, but the animations on the Reaper Prime are just far superior. And she's way killier now. And some other differences in these arbitrations is that defense missions, you have to protect a guy. Uh, instead of actual point, and the, the guy will actually follow one of the players, but when he dies, you can't just get him up like other Protect the Dude missions, so you just lose, and it's brutal. Yeah, last time we did it, we uh, we got all the rewards. Yeah, we actually lost all the... Yeah, like, yeah. We, lost, we lost all our loot, originally. Yeah, we, it was so much fun, though. Yeah, <laughs> we, we went pretty far in, and then it's just the guy actually wandered, wandered off on his own, and we couldn't find him in time. And he ended up just killing himself in a couple seconds. And we had a really good group. Yeah. It was just, it was a fluke. Uh, oh, and the I other... Think we got, I think we got like the 30 or 35 oh, wins. Oh, we were almost uh, at 60. I think it died at 55. Oh. Yeah, we were pretty far in. <laughs> Damn, we were so close. Yeah, we are tr trying to get to 60. Trying to find, uh, hunt adaptations. And adaptations is worth a ton of plat. You can sell that for 30 plat. Easy. There's lots of stuff in here. Um, they also give sculptures as a reward commonly. And those sculptures, you just put some, um... What are they? Those amber or cyan stars in them. And those and become worth them for Enda. Yeah, exactly. They could be worth anything between 3.5k and 1.5k Enda. Yeah. Uh, and those are really nice. And you can trade them too for plat, though I'm not really sure how effective it is. I think you'd probably want the Endo unless you're just done with Endo. <laughs> They don't really sell for all that much, but they will sell very fast. Uh, here's a good room. Oh, you got, you've had a good room? <laughs> you see how nothing gets hit by my four? Oh, someone else blew it up. But once someone blows up the the drone, then everything's fair game again. The meteors can smash. Yeah, I got it with those annoying drones. 
that nice. Oh, and they have a chance of dropping Vitus Essence, too. And for every wave of anything you complete, you automatically get, I think it's one or two Vitus Essence. And then there's a Trader and the Arbitration Vendor. Ooh, Arcane Pistolier. Yeah, that's worth eight plat, easy. So you just make tons of money. And if you want to sell it really easy, I suggest you don't use the trade chat. No one ever sees any of that. You should go onto this website called Warframe.Market. And that's... It's very easy to make an account. You have to like link it to your in-game using like their little bot. It takes all of like a minute, and you can sell stuff for tons of plat really easy. We've made maybe two k plat in the last couple of days, where I was selling a lot of my old stuff, my mag like mag blueprints, because I, I farmed a mag prime back in the day because it was easy, and the blueprints were going for like ninety plat hey, each. Hey. It was ridiculous. I so. bring out the plats. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, honey. Fuck about. And I have a beef effect. I get to leap to an enemy from far away. Oh, yeah! Uh, we got her uh, build all situated. And she runs Roar, e Eternal War, and... Yeah, Roar is my three. Yeah. And... There's... Whew. See, none of them die until that dies. And when that dies, everything actually died from the explosion from the drone, so... That's all arbitrations are. Oh, we didn't go over one of the... Uh, probably the most annoying parts about them, though. And that is when you die. You just don't want to die in arbitrations because no, you do not because you have to like kill all those annoying drones just to get points <laughs> to put in that um yeah you don't that the thing is to like revive the person yeah and while the team gets the points to revive the person they lose maximum HP and it's it's a lot yes. it's really it's tough bad. <laughs> yeah so you really don't want to die. <laughs> If you have a really competent team, it's okay, but if your team's kind of borderline, you're pretty far in an endless mode, ugh, yeah. things can get really sketch. But we're fighting Infested here. Infested are pretty tame. Same thing, too, with Grenier. Um, so I've gotten my Ember build completely reworked, and it is just insane at destroying Grenier now. Corpus? Corpus, I think, are just the toughest enemy to fight by far. So if it's your first time in an arbitration, you want something a little bit more mellow, just do fight infested or Grenier. They ain't bad. Hey, Grenier, they have, like, super hard, tough armor. Yeah, yeah. But you can get to skid, uh, weapons. I can just bypass it anyway. Grenier armor doesn't become a problem until you get to Steel Path. <laughs> then you're... They're rebalancing it, too, I think, in a week or two, where they're going to completely redo guns and make them stronger somehow, because... Guns are great in just normal gameplay, but when you actually make it to Steel Path, where they give not only starting level 100, but also just a fat additional armor buff, they just don't do <laughs> much of anything. It takes like half a no. magazine to kill a basic guy. And they're just not feasible, yeah. so you gotta do this melee Pretty cheese. Weak, yeah. Even Stephanie's Lens, which I think has to be one of the hardest hitting weapons in the game. I think and my bow. My new bow. Yep. Yeah, it's more of a rocket launcher than a bow, we're being honest. But yeah. <laughs> I am, I shoot, and, she and scores. I <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one's and going uh, pretty mellow. How's the damage looking? Oh, we have... Uh, and I give you, um, buffers to my two and my three. Oh, yeah, for steel path. Yeah, we have our bullshit down. So I subsume breach surge, which just hits, you know, hits for huge. And then she put on roar. And then she also has Eternal War as an augment, so that way her war cry always stays up, so we just get tons of armor, tons of attack speed, tons of additional damage. And then I just keep spamming my complete armor strip, which will completely get rid of all their bullshit armor, so we're just one-shotting everything super fast. And we could do, with our little combo, we could two-man survivals and just not even need life support. And the life support rate is dropped, too, so you have to kill really fast. But the enemy rate is... Uh, greatly increased, so it's great for endo farm. They're just fun. It is a really fun mode. You don't have so much of this where there just isn't really all that many enemies going on. It's just non-stop dudes. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, they mob oh, the mob. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> my savior. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they knocked me down. And drain my energy, but you're my hero. Oh, I'm happy to help that. <laughs> Thank you for the save. I love you. So at this, we're kind of just playing a little sloppy, and we're just running around killing everything, because it won't get difficult for some time. But we can't recommend it enough. Just, if you want to upgrade your stuff, just complete the star chart, automatically unlocks, you'll see them as events. There's new ones every hour. And just, yeah, do these, and the endo is insane. <laughs> you can see the focus is pretty good, too. 
yet. Standing in focus now. I'll see Where if I get my you? melee counter high too, so I can start showing you the red crit. So with bloodlust on a high crit weapon, it'll turn into red crits every hit. And then if you combo that with prime reach, so you just hit so many things at once, it just gets insane. Melee, unfortunately, right. melee we've learned is where where you got to be for the end game. That was 900 endo too, it just gave us for a five minute reward. And as you go longer, the rewards get better, and eventually those 900s become 1500s. No, I'm gonna lose by 10 times. Oh, no, and look I buff you again. Oh, I saved. You saw that red crit there, huge. Okay, and I guess we have one guy hopping out because it's not getting essence, but. I mean, that's, that's pretty random. It really is streaky. It's not the mission. This is actually one of the best missions. It's just so random when you get Steel Essence off of the... Arbitration Drones. Because it has like a 1.7% drop rate, but you'll kill hundreds of them. I bet we've already killed hundreds of them. Tied the party. Oh, uh, yeah, my combo's still all 11. Yeah, look, uh, now about 12 times, and it's just red crit all the time. <laughs> oh shit, I let my two fall off. That was foolish. There we go. Ooh. And so to stay alive too, I like to use uh, Magus Arcane. So I have the one for lockdown that stuns everything, and then I have the one, what is it, Exervate, that whatever I get back in, it immediately heals me 300. I don't think life steals where you want to be. Look at all those red crits. <laughs> it, it's beautiful. And I'll top myself up. And I'll stun them. Oh. Ah. When I it. push um, my five, my operator comes down and I do a, yeah. a, da a quick dash and I get my energy yeah. up for myself when uh, I'm not around my baby. Because yeah. he drops a lot of energy balls. <laughs> That's our combo too. In order to fuel our system, Ember has a like, really nice augment that makes it a really high so like chance to absorb. If I push my two and my three and I'm around Sean, yeah. I have my... Uh, I can say my four. Look at that, 400k <laughs> uh, red crit. Like it's so stupid, and that's without me stripping his armor. That's without Stephanie's damage buffs. Like this is just—it's ridiculous, and it doesn't take elite mods. You just need to get that bloodlust mod, and this run combo counters. And that's why combo counter duration is nice to have too, because all the damage comes from crit. And I think they'll be nerfing this when they do the melee, re re melee and gun rebalance. They're gonna—they're gonna nerf bloodlust, but for now. It's just easy. It's a no, silver please, mod. Please, please, no. I know, please, hopefully no. they won't. I don't know that. Look at that, red crit, red crit, red crit. I, and the only crit mod right. I have on here is Bloodlust. It's, it's I stupid. hope they do not touch the Reaver Prime. I'm going to oh, cry. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, she's I in love, love with it. I love this weapon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, well. Uh, not really fine. Oh, no, I lost my combo counter. It's very easy to build it up, though. Just got to find a good thing yeah. to dive. You knock me down, I kill you. <laughs> kill, fuck you kill, up. kill, 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 kill. <laughs> I fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And see, it, it just builds up. I'm right at four times, and I'm already doing yellow crits. It's it's so stupid. So yeah, th those are some of the big tricks we've learned while playing Warframe. Use melee, bloodlust, run good synergies. And then you could conquer any content. I think Steel Pass Survivals have to be by far the toughest content you could run. And if you subsume like Rhino's Roar into a really duration build uh, focus class like the Valkyrie. There's <laughs> the drone. I got the drone for you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I need more energy, I oh. think. Yeah, I haven't been using my uh, four here. There we go. I've been slacking on that. <laughs> get sucked away. Oh, yeah, where, where's your videos? <laughs> oh. All right, there we go. See, full life. <laughs> and Magus, uh, what's it called? Uh, Innervate, I think is what it is. Is really cheap to buy too with plat, or you can farm it from the quills. Oh, I don't have my two up. That's sloppy. They keep my damage up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, um, we're not really killing enough to sustain right now. Hmm. It's more the drops. <laughs> it's more the spawns. And the other guys are somewhere weird, too. Maybe it just isn't killing fast enough. Mm. Uh, maybe. Yeah, and if you have any questions, too, about builds, I'll go link mine with some pictures if you just want to see what I'm running with my weapons. I'll leave out my range weapons just because it's just... Range is just not relevant. Not unless you get, uh, like, a kit weapon, perhaps, with a ribbon or something, but... 
it's it's melee. And if you want something that's accessible, it's, it's all you need is a good melee weapon with bloodlust, and <laughs> the game is yours. Yeah, Nicky Monster's a dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that's some good focus. Ah, uh, these big dudes are such pests. Yeah, well, they drain your energy. Oh, there, there's, there's a good fire there, because I had to hit him with the meteors in order to yeah. give him the chance to drop the blues. Yeah. Oh, there's a sculpture. Oh, oh yeah. yeah and a 300k red crit. Get those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, woo. They're very pretty sculptures. Very lovely designs. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could decorate your orbiter with them, and when she puts the yeah, side you yeah. start moving. Yeah. Oh, there's some blues for you, my love. We also managed to use some of that platinum we got to get a rank 3 arcane energized, and it's a game changer, my friends. It gives you a chance to on, what is it, whenever you pick up a blue orb, to AoE out more energy. And it basically makes energy trivial, and I only have it at rank 3, but it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and then that's why you want to actually run Prime Flow, because it's not so much about efficiency anymore. You can take off all or most of your efficiency mods. Because you just have such a huge maximum, and you just keep filling it up with the uh, blue orbs you get off of Arcane Energize. It just changes the dynamics of everything if you really spam all the abilities you want. And we'll go do some Steel Path later, and when you guys see that, you'll, you'll see what I mean. I'm just spamming Fire, blah, <laughs> fire Blast constantly. Oh, Breeze Storage it's constantly. Quite a to behold. <laughs> yeah, oh shit, I got energy drained. No, <laughs> that was a lot of energy. Oh, they took from I me. hate it when they have, that happens so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> douches. It's always those, those green infested guys doing that. They just shit stick out their little hand and you're like, boop. <laughs> They're like... Reach it into your pocket, taking all energy. your energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I win. Well, I think we win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when we shove our axe in their head. <laughs> that is very Oh shit. Cool. There are just some infested pests. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. See, blow up that drone. Got him. Because we're tanking, you have to survive the hit. Ooh, focus. I need to. There uh, oh, there you are. I need Ooh, to get my energy it. up. Yeah. I need to get back to. Oh, I'm at a thousand. That didn't take so long. <laughs> nice. A thousand? You mean a hundred? <laughs> at a zero on there? I have, I have a thousand life. Oh, a thousand life. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That has an HP. Yeah. Mm. And I'll do that to get some energy back. So I really do suggest Anorak as your first focus too, because you just do that energy dash. And it also makes blues give you a lot more energy, so you can just get back at it if you get energy drain. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Definitely, Definitely not desperate. start with this Anorak, for sure. And those little, uh, I don't know, they're kind of like these fancy stars of David over here. Those are the Vitus Essence drops. See, the guy left and they're dropping. Oh, uh, that one died. Oh. No, he's, he's still up. I don't think he's up. Oh, at someone's answer to the sea died. Maybe he got up. Oh, if it's a Wukong, they could uh, resurrect themselves, I think, up to three times. So oh. Wukong's a popular friend. Lucky! Is it? Uh, no, it's not a Wukong, though. Hmm. Like, to Zeru or something. Yeah. Oh, I gotta make sure I keep my two up. If I play tight, they won't get me, but <laughs> talking talking on these distracts me. I'm not that good at the game where I can multitask yet. Woo! And we do our best. Yeah, exactly. Things are going well here. Um, we can just go pack it in at 20 if you like, but we can keep on going. I think it would be smooth to go until 40 if we really wanted to. I do suggest things like survivals over defenses, though, because weird flukes could happen like that last defense we ran where all of a sudden the guy just died because he went around a corner, stopped following the players, and yeah, it, it just lost. They, they just walk around randomly. Sometimes they do, yeah. Everywhere. And we couldn't find him in time because he was on the other side of this big pillar. Yeah. But the best mode is definitely, in my opinion, is disruptions, where you run the keys. Because then you get onto the, I think it's the C or D rotation? And then it's just, I got 13k endo in a game doing that, I think, a couple nights ago. <laughs> Because you can control which rotation you get off of how many you complete successfully. And you can also fi get rewards much faster in every five minutes, like you are getting in these survivals. Oh yeah! Ooh. Bring on and the fire! And they're pretty action too. The 
I feel like they throw more dudes at you than survivals do. Oh, there is. Yeah. I think survivals have more monsters. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think... I don't know, I feel like disruptions do. But, I mean, unless you're thinking about, uh, deal pass survivals, those are glorious. I have... You'll never hear me complain about the lack of monsters in this. I love them. Yeah, die, monster, die. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I, I dodge. I dodge. <laughs> it's a little tentacle thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got adaptation, honey. We just made 30 platinum each. That's 60 platinum for Team Sean and Stephanie right there. Like that's awesome. the money. Like the arcanes that they drop, they're easy five to eight plat each. Adaptations like that. It, yeah, it's, it's great platinum. They're, they sell very fast. If you put them on Warframe Market, just undercut the person above you only by by one. Because if you do more than that, you're just costing yourself money. You'll uh, sell it within five seconds. You'll get a message off of someone. Adaptation's a very good mod. And they drop all the time here. So, yeah, it's a great platform. It's okay for Infinity Farm, too. I, I do think you need to bring a rank 30 frame in here so you can't level frames. And, yeah, the affinity for leveling weapons is... Oh, our uh, friend died over there. Oh, he did come back, though. Yeah. He is bringing... I saw him. Yeah, I saw that, too. That's weird. Yeah, that's the same guy, so... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's an Equinox yeah. thing. I'm still learning all the frames, but let us go head over to green and we'll go finish this up here. Uh, Alright, let's go. Yeah. Very smooth run. Yeah, I could have been more on top of spamming meteors though to keep our energy going. Woo! That's alright. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Oh, hello guys. Oh. <laughs> They're all standing around. <laughs> I think I surprised them as much as they surprised me. I'm coming. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, here we are. It says that used to be a palace. <laughs> yeah, so this is on Deimos, too. So it used to be a, a mode called Derelict Ship, and they switched it up. And they removed the derelicts entirely, and they just put it on Deimos. It doesn't even fit, like, the atmosphere of, like, the Deimos open world. And you look at it, news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. The lens is, is a crazy weapon. It'll one-shot Corpus uh, on Seal Path, too, if only they didn't shield gate. <laughs> More rocket launcher yeah. than bow. <laughs> and we're thinking about getting a Prime Firestorm whenever, whenever we get our hands on it. It'll increase that radius by 66%. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. And you're, are you, you're like one shotting these guys on arbitrations, I'm sure. Oh, oh, be careful, yeah. you don't want to put yourself in the bubble. Uh, it happens all the time. <laughs> it's kind of easy to do with the bubbles that big. Imagine if it's bigger than this. <laughs> but, <laughs> just fry him. Oh. Oh, for sure. Sweet. And mission complete. Alright, yep, so we you saw us make a bit of platinum, or endo, sorry, our endo jobs weren't really all that great, but we made a ton of platinum with the Arcane Pistolier and the, and the Adaptation, and we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions or want our what, advice or help with anything, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Yep, <laughs> take care. Peace. Peace.